when you get to know him a little bit, he really knows what he wants and he gets what he wants. <laughs> um, or he takes what he wants. So either you make it comfortable for him and he feels good and you can have everything, but he really, he takes care for himself. So it's good, but, but on the other hand, if everything is happy, he loves to compete and he loves to do that. And um, I think especially the freestyle with the music and everything, that's, that's his, his thing. And, um, yeah, I think that's his character. He he's the chief. Helen Langer Hannenberg and Damsey FRH, a partnership that started relatively late, but has become one of the most consistent on the Dressage World Cup circuit. Here we take a look back at a journey that began only in 2017, at a home show that would soon become the combination's favourite. Helen Langer Hanneberg and uh, Damsey FRA. Second, 79.150. Yeah, I mean, I have him now for one year. And how much it improved and how much we found together in this time. And um, yeah, to have this results here in our first yeah, World Cup qualifier together, it was really, really special. The pair would go on to claim another podium place at another home show in Stuttgart the following season before an expecting Helen returned to Neumünster, ready to go on better. Quite a lot of riders have done the one times down the centre line today. It's such a risk, but it certainly paid off for Helen. And into the pirouette. So much balance. Very smart. But late into her trot transition there. Nine for her right pirouette. Beautiful music. Very bold end to her test in the freestyle 
and it is into first place for Helen Langerhannerberg. Damsey, FR8, 83.880. Especially in the A score, we had everything above 80%, and there was really something where we said, "Yeah, that's it. That's that's." Uh, I think he has no weakness, and to get to get the score, and that you really feel the judges and the audience um, really honor what they see uh, and what I feel. That's that's a great feeling. After a summer off to give birth to her daughter. Helen returned hungrier than ever for the start of the 2018-19 World Cup season. She was about to compete in six Western European legs and podium at every one of them. This partnership consistently scored close to or over the 80% in the World Cup series last year. So let's see if they can do it again. Helen Langer-Harneberg and Damsey, the latest challenger for Germany. Helen producing a beautiful test, really eking out every single mark she possibly could, controlling every single step of Damsey, making sure she didn't lose him left, right, forwards, backwards at any point. And he stayed with her all the way. The activity from behind is quite extraordinary. He really does know how to use his engine. A new leader, 82.880, and I think that will be nearly a personal best. I think we might have our first 80% of the day. The transition from Cantor to Piaf was beautiful. It was so technically challenging, yet she pulled it off brilliantly just left the arena with a beaming smile as she came past us. I think Neumünster has a very special show. The main arena is really not big and the audience is sitting nearly in the arena. That makes the, yeah, the, the, the atmosphere absolutely special and you have to have a horse that is or has strong nerves, so it's not too nervous, but um, I think they can even enjoy it. I think Dempsey loves it. That was absolutely stunning. Do you know what? I actually feel a bit emotional. A, bit, a little bit emotional. I've got there. a tear in my eye. And... You can see how pleased she is. You can see how thrilled she is with Dempsey. It's been one of her best tests to date, and what a time to pull it out of the bag. <laughs> Those six results guaranteed the duo their place at the FEI Dressage World Cup final in Gothenburg, Sweden. With the very best in the world having already performed, and the 2013 champion Helen last to go, only a personal best for the combination would allow them to break into the top three. Lovely square halt. One of the few that we've seen today, actually. Last time out in Stokenbosch, she got 84.875, which is our highest freestyle score throughout the Western European League qualifiers. If she equals that, she will go into fifth place. That score creeping up, closer to the 80s. She's going to pick up more of her marks, though, in her canter tour. Thank you. 
wonderful pirouette. It's going up. Score's going up. Laura Graves in danger. 87.179. 88.78 is Helen Langer-Hanneberg and Dams the FRH. 89. Oh, she's gone into the lead at the moment. Helen Langer-Hanneberg. Hello. 90. Wow. 90.5. Oh, just a few braking issues then. Oh no. That's going to pull her down 100% difficulty. I don't think I've ever seen that. Can we take no. a photo of that? Here she comes into land. Oh, it's gone. The score is gone. Oh. She can't even stop the judge. It seemed was nearly pushed into the crowd. <laughs> Helen Langer Hanover couldn't have got closer to our judge at sea. The president of the grand jury, that was the Fro Sweden Magnus Ringmark. Damsey FRH is still climbing, 89. Now, no one predicted Helen Langer Hanover no. to be in the top three. There is Daniel Backman Anderson and Isabel Furt. Madeleine Winter Schultz in the background. Helen Langer Hanneberg in our current picture. Absolutely delighted oh. waving at the crowd. Now, this is what you call a final. This is what you call going down to the wire. I think she's going to be OK. I think she's going to go third. She has. Yes. Helen Langer Hanneberg, Damsey FRH, finish in bronze medal winning position. Yeah, in the beginning I had no words, and now I'm just proud of Dempsey. I think it was the hardest challenge we did, and he fought for it. And I really had a lot of tears after it, <laughs> because I was, I was so pleased with what he did, and um, how fresh he was, and the people started clapping, and ooh, the last hole it was <laughs> not maybe the best, but I think very uh, spectacular. <laughs> But I think it, it really showed his ambition to do this and, and I'm just proud of this horse. But it wasn't to end there for our partnership. The combination's consistency continued into the 2019-2020 campaign with three more podium places before the cancellation of the season due to the coronavirus pandemic. When the sport finally returns, let's hope we see more stunning performances from Helen Langer-Hannenberg and Damsey FRH.